Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from PC Addicts. This video, we're gonna install Windows 10 in VirtualBox. And so this one, let's go ahead and install Windows 10 because just running a server by itself is kind of boring. So after we set up the server, we're gonna want a client machine to be able to do stuff. All right, so let's get this started. Let's fire up uh, VirtualBox and my phone is making all kinds of beeping noises. And um, so you see we got Windows 2012 here. That one's already set up. Let's go ahead and fire up this one. And I didn't do this ahead of time or anything, so let's see, it's already showing my ISO drive on my external, Windows 10, technical preview, hit OK, start. Now in the previous, previous video, we set up VirtualBox, um, a real basic install, in order to throw these, uh, these virtual machines on here. So I'm going to let this go, I'm going to pause it because who wants to sit here and watch a black screen for a while? And I will be right back. All right, so now we're back here and uh, basic install once again. All right, now we're back here, so we're at the license terms. Uh, of course, we read all that uh, while we were paused and I accept it. So um, I always, I don't do the upgrade, install windows and keep files. I always, no matter what, I always run the custom install windows only. I select the drive, I don't have to repartition or anything. It's ready to go, so I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm just gonna hit next and let Windows do its magic. These days, Windows is so easy to install. Um, even the server, it's pretty much just click the basic stuff and you're, you're, you're done. So I'm gonna let this roll and we'll be back. All right, looks like we're back up here. Let's see, set up for you so you can get going fast. So I'm just gonna try to make this real simple. Let's use the Express Settings. Next, you'll set up your account. Uh, this is probably that Microsoft account. Yep, all right. All right, it's setting up my account. So obviously this is just the basic stuff. I mean, you don't have to have, I mean, there's nothing hard about setting up Windows 10 or any Windows operating system. Um, it's just the process of doing it on a virtual machine or a virtual environment here. So it's yapping about it's doing stuff for me. You can get new apps from the store. Um, this is taking a while, so we're gonna pause it. All right, now, hmm. So I gotta be honest with you, I haven't used Windows 10 yet. So I see we have, like, it looks like a start button, sorta. That, it's interesting, that's much better. Um, again, this is new to me, so bear with me here. I gotta search the web and Windows. Oh, that's pretty cool, I wonder if I can just start typing. No, let's see if I hit the Windows key. Oh, wait. Device manager, let's see, device, devices, all right. All right, I'm just kind of playing, but anyways, that was it, it was pretty simple. Let's see what kind of network we're on here. Can I hit that, capture you, click the mouse inside. Uh, sure, capture. All right, maybe not. It's not what I wanted. Anyways, let's just see. Uh, CMD IP config 10.0.2.50. It's on my network, so I'll be using it along. All right, cool. Well, what is this little message thing down here? New notifications, huh? Well, I gotta say, it looks. It looks. So far, to me, it looks better than than that big old start screen we used to have. So. I may uh, actually enjoy playing around with this one a little bit. So anyways, all right, that was it. That was installing Windows 10 in VirtualBox. And if we look here, I have Windows 2012 and Windows 10. And pretty soon, we are going to get set up with installing Windows 2012. Or not installing Windows 2012, but setting it up as a domain controller and set up our whole environment again so we can start kicking some butt and doing some some cool stuff with the domain so that's that I'm kind of excited to play around with it just to just to get a feel for something different again uh, anyways how about you guys leave a comment below if you have installed Windows 10 if you played around with it and then what's your thoughts on it all right guys later